I was basically a sportsman rider. You know, I'm we, like you said, raced on the weekend, done done my most of my motorcycle work and uh, worked during the week, and that was always the key when I went out to ride. Is I got to go to work Monday, and and uh, these guys are a whole different. It, it takes on a whole different perspective. I hope in what they're doing they can have as much fun as as I've had and I'm sure Larry's had it and, and because these guys part of their life is going to be you have to perform yeah. some of us look and say oh shit 10 events a year even a couple of days per event really you know the guy works 20 one month a year but the reality is he's working every day never has a day off you know both of them are going to have to be workaholics to be where they're at and stay there. Yeah, riding starts out as fun, and then you make 100 bucks, and you think you're you're rich, and then you're like, oh, I'm gonna keep doing and make another 100 bucks. And now uh, here I am, and I'm already thinking about 10 years from now where I want to be. You know, I want a family. I want uh, you know, I want nice things. I enjoy nice things. So in order to have that, maybe a dirt bike ride isn't gonna pay for it. You can only have a certain amount of time to uh, to keep riding and making money at riding, right? So they have this window, and you just want to keep, um, you just want to make as much money and do the best you can in that window. I think there's so many sports now; it's got so serious that it is such a business that it's, it's they can't be enjoyable for the top sports guys. But that's kind of true. Like when I was riding competitively in the '70s, there was there was no pro class. There was no paid riders, you know. I don't know, slept in a tent, you know the deal. Or under a tarp in the box of a truck. If if you had a sponsorship, it's because your dad had a dealership <laughs> or something like that, right? There was there was no there was no glitter. Like I watch you're a competitor. Like there in your soul, in your body, in your heart, you're a competitor. In your mind. Like if somebody does something, your desire would be to do it better. I think you're, you're even stuff. born with that desire to win at all costs, do everything you can or you haven't well, got it. certainly some people are. But then there's the other way of looking at it. Sometimes I just look, look, I'm riding my bike, I'm getting paid, having fun. Why should I complain if I come second, third, fourth, whatever? That's it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. Not well. well <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> you know?